Thanks again for joining us today. Glass Expansion has designed and patented the D-Torch, a revolutionary demountable ICP super torch. The D-Torch uses high precision engineering to provide the benefits of a demountable torch, such as lower running costs, chemical inertness, and configurable injector geometry without compromising usability, performance, or durability. In today's presentation, we will discuss the effects of harsh matrices on torches as well as the features, benefits, and improvements in analysis achieved with Glass Expansion's D-Torch. Before getting started, let's quickly review the different ICP torch designs available today. A single piece torch offers no removable parts. A semi-demountable torch provides a removable injector and quartz torch body, which is an outer tube and intermediate tube fused together. The injector adapter of most semi-demountable torches relies on O-rings for the seal. The D-Torch offers a removable injector and low-cost removable outer tube. The intermediate tube of the D-Torch is fused to the D-Torch body and manufactured from ceramic for greater robustness. A fully demountable torch provides a removable injector, intermediate tube, and outer tube. This table illustrates which torch designs are currently available for each instrument model. Note that Glass Expansion's D-Torch is available for most ICP models. Now that we have introduced the different torch designs, we will now focus on the benefits and performance of the D-Torch. The combination of high temperature and salt deposits causes a quartz torch outer tube to devitrify. The combination of high temperature and organic solvents can cause an outer tube to prematurely fracture. The disadvantage of a single piece torch is that it is a relatively high cost consumable item that requires regular maintenance and replacement, particularly with these more demanding samples, such as high total dissolved solids, organic solvents, and hydrofluoric acid. This is because the whole torch must be replaced when just the outer tube suffers from the failure. The only advantage of a semi-demountable torch is the interchangeable injector, as the quartz torch body is still a relatively high cost consumable. And in most cases, the intermediate tube is fine, and it is only the outer tube that has failed. Also, as mentioned previously, most of the semi-demountable torches rely on O-rings for the seal. O-rings are not compatible with many organic solvents and require regular replacement. Worn O-rings can cause alignment issues, which will degrade the torch more rapidly. Glass Expansion's patented D-Torch is an economical alternative to the single piece and other semi-demountable torch options. The D-Torch, often referred to as a super torch by our customers, incorporates a ceramic intermediate tube for greater robustness and provides the analyst with an outer tube that can be replaced when it fails rather than replacing the entire torch. The D-Torch also features an interchangeable injector, allowing the analyst to install a specific injector, whether it be for material or internal diameter for each application, such as aqueous, organics, high total dissolved solids, or hydrofluoric acid. Each glass expansion D-Torch design is a direct replacement for the standard torch including ICP models that incorporate an easy to use self-aligning torch insulation. Each D-Torch model is designed with a base that provides the same self-aligning turnkey insulation for ICP models such as the Agilent 5100, 5110, 5800, 5900, the Perkin-Elmer Avio 200 and 500, the Thermo iCap and iCap Pro, and the Spectro Arcos and Spectro Blue. Compared to other demountable torches, the D-Torch also offers easier cleaning and maintenance with the ability to remove the injector and outer tube, and again, no O-rings to degrade or go brittle. The D-Torch can also provide a laboratory analyzing several different sample matrices with significant savings in ICP torches. The D-Torch makes it easy to swap injectors of various internal diameters and material providing the laboratory with a single torch that can easily be optimized for multiple applications. For example, narrow bore of one millimeter or less is particularly useful for the analysis of volatile organics. For standard aqueous matrices, 
you use an injector ID of 1.5 to 2 millimeter. Large bore injectors are used for greater resistance to high total dissolved solids to prevent injector blockages. Typically an injector for high TDS of 2 millimeter or greater is used. High grade alumina for resistance to hydrofluoric acid. Sapphire can be used for high purity applications. Platinum tipped and Cylon injectors are also available for some D-Torch models and by request. Also unique to the D-Torch is our optional ceramic outer tube, which is of particular benefit for the analysis of aggressive sample matrices such as hydrofluoric acid, organic solvents, and high total dissolved solids. Because the Cylon outer tube material does not devitrify and can withstand higher temperatures. Compared to a quartz outer tube, the ceramic outer tube has a much longer lifetime, greatly reducing maintenance, cleaning, and downtime due to torch failure. In some sample matrices, quartz outer tubes can degrade in hours, while the ceramic outer tube will last years under the same conditions. As an example, we compared a quartz outer tube to a ceramic outer tube, both of which were exposed for six hours to a 10% sodium chloride analysis. You can clearly see that there is no change to the integrity of the ceramic outer tube, whereas the quartz is severely devitrified. Using a ceramic outer tube on your ICP torch also produces a hotter, more robust plasma, which reduces matrix effects and can improve detection limits. The D-Torch is an ideal choice for analyses at the detection limit as the hotter plasma increases sensitivity, monitoring of wear metals and engine oils as the quartz outer tube often suffers from cracking or shortened lifetimes due to the thermal shock, analysis of fusion samples where lithium salts rapidly attack quartz, and measuring high total dissolved solid samples that will quickly devitrify the quartz outer tube. The ceramic outer tube is of particular benefit for fusion samples, which cause quartz tubes to rapidly devitrify. The detort ceramic outer tube shown on the left has been running lithium borate fusion samples for three years at five to seven days per week and 20 to 22 hours per day. The ceramic outer tube is showing clear signs of wear and tear, but has been running very demanding samples for approximately 20,000 hours. And at the time this photo was taken, it was still operational. As a comparison, before the D-Torch was installed, a standard quartz torch was lasting only about 100 hours for this laboratory. So the ceramic torch has outlasted 200 standard quartz torches, saving the, the laboratory at least 40,000 US dollars. Now that we have covered the robustness and flexibility of the D-Torch, let's focus on performance. The performance of the D-Torch has been highlighted in several application notes, including work from Glass Expansion's own R&D laboratory, in addition to work from Thermo Fisher Scientific and Perkin Elmer. In the next few slides, we will highlight data taken from these application notes, in addition to some others. In addition to providing ICP laboratories with a more robust torch option and reduced replacement costs, the ceramic outer tube of the D-Torch can provide higher average signal intensity compared to a standard torch. The table shown here is a comparison of signal intensity with a ceramic and quartz outer tube attained via axial viewing on an Agilent 5100 SDV ICP OES. The average signal intensity is based on three separate measurements of 10 replicates using a 100 ppb multi-element standard. The average increase in signal intensity with the ceramic outer tube was 21%. This data was taken from Spectroscopy Magazine's February 2020 application notebook. In Thermo application note 43053, Thermo reported that the fully ceramic D-Torch provided equivalent or better analytical performance to the standard EMT torch. With the additional advantage of resistance to devitrification and premature failures, with specific sample matrices, including organics and high dissolved solids, such as fusions. The expected lifetime of the Cylon outer tube is at least five times that of the quartz EMT torch with these sample matrices mentioned, making the ceramic D-Torch a cost-effective solution to reduce some of the traditional consumable costs associated with ICP OES. 
Perkin Elmer highlighted the performance of the Avio 500 combined with the fully ceramic detorsion in application note 35847, stable analysis of lithium metaborate fusion samples. Using the Perkin Elmer Avio 500 together with glass expansions, Allegra argon humidifier, sea spray nebulizer, twister baffled cyclonic spray chamber, a narrow bore injector, and the fully ceramic detorch help to minimize salt deposition in the sample introduction components, allowing high TDS fusion samples to be analyzed over 12.5 hours without any issues. The internal standard readings are within 2% of the initial reading for the entire two and a half hour analysis. Recoveries for all analytes are within plus 3% of their true value for the entire analysis. RSDs of less than 1% for all elements for the entire 12 and a half hour analysis was maintained. In October of 2013, Glass Expansion collaborated with Inorganic Ventures to organize an application spotlight on how to achieve high accuracy with difficult samples. This work was completed by Inorganic Ventures using their Spectro Arcos ICPOAS and Glass Expansion's high performance inert sample introduction system which consisted of the Duramus nebulizer, PTFE Tracy spray chamber, and fully ceramic detorch. The addition of the fully ceramic detorch greatly improved the long-term stability, allowing for a significant improvement in the uncertainty calculations by more than 40% compared to a semi-demountable quartz torch. The ceramic outer tube helps to create a more robust plasma, allowing for improvement in the stability of the presence of high matrix samples. Again, all of these application notes can be accessed via the Glass Expansion handout. In the remaining slides, we will briefly review how to assemble and maintain your D-Torch. Before installing your new D-Torch, it is recommended that you review and fully understand the D-Torch user guide provided with your D-Torch kit. Now we will play a short video that will briefly detail the Agilent D-Torch assembly process. The D-Torch is a revolutionary demountable torch design. It provides the benefits of a fully demountable torch, at a significantly lower cost. As a reference we will be using our D-Torch to suit the Agilent 5100, 5110, 5800 and 5900 ICPOES. Although each D-Torch design is different, the assembly and removal procedures for the D-Torch outer tube and injector are all very similar. As supplied, the D-Torch is fully assembled, although the injector is not included. Always wear safety gloves and safety glasses when handling the D-Torch. Always use any tools provided with your D-Torch kit to prevent unnecessary damage, and ensure proper installation. Remove the injector holder by turning it counterclockwise. Remove the injector and clean or replace it if it's chipped or damaged. To replace a worn or damaged ferrule, Insert the injector ferrule tool provided into the ferrule, and gently move it from side to side to unseat the ferrule. To remove the outer tube, unscrew the retaining ring by one turn. Grip the outer tube and gently move it from side to side, until you hear a click as the outer tube releases. Fully unscrew the retaining ring and carefully remove the outer tube from the D-Torch body. Clean or replace as necessary. Place the injector ferrule onto the stem of the injector ferrule tool. Insert the injector ferrule into the injector adapter and push together until you feel the ferrule seat with the adapter or ring. Now, push the injector all the way into the injector ferrule. The end of the injector must butt up against the inside of the injector adapter. Reinsert the injector adapter assembly into the torch body and tighten in place with moderate hand pressure. Always check for correct injector position by ensuring that it is recessed 1 to 2 mm below the inner tube. Do not touch the quartz outer tube with your hands, this can reduce the torch lifetime. To reattach the outer tube, check both the outer tube and torch body are clean and free of damage. Carefully slide the outer tube over the alumina intermediate tube. The outer tube will self-locate inside the torch body. Slide the retaining ring over the outer tube and gently tighten. Make sure any alignment marks on the outer tube and torch body line up and then fully tighten the retaining ring with moderate hand pressure. 
Your D-Torch is now ready for use. Now we will briefly review maintenance of the D-Torch corks and ceramic outer tubes. Firstly, it's important to always use safety gloves when handling the outer tube. Carbon deposits from organic samples can be burnt off the outer tube using a portable handheld propane torch. Note, the D-Torch outer tube cannot be heated in a muffle furnace since it has a polymer ferrule attached to it. Salt deposits are best removed by soaking the outer tube in a 25% fluca solution or in dilute acid. In the photo, you can see that this, you should stand the outer tube upright in a beaker and use sufficient cleaning solution to cover the salt deposits. Metallic films are best removed by soaking the outer tube in acid. The best acid to use is usually the one that was used to prepare or digest the samples. Again, stand the outer tube upright in a beaker and use a sufficient amount of acid to cover the metal deposits. Note, we recommend that the polymer ferrule is not soaked in acid. Thank you all for your time today. If you have any questions or are interested in a quote for a D-Torch, you can contact one of our three offices directly. We also have a global distribution network that can be found on the Glass Expansion website. We look forward to working with you.